After this race, we're gonna be halfway through the season as we're here in Martinsville Speedway. The tough track and the game is known as the paper club of its nickname. Yeah, it's pretty much like the paper club. It's just the size of it. And yeah, just one thing is that it's a way bigger. This track is pretty tough. What do you think these nerves have to do even after this track? Well, you gotta make sure not to go too fast in those turns. Those turns are very flat. Basically, like the old New Hampshire, they do the road flat. You have to remember that and go ahead and not go too fast in those turns. Or you will spin or smack that wall hard. Now, here's like a couple of drivers who also have to spin by Nero Yellow. Jimmy Johnson looks pretty tough for this race. He starts to for this race. And pretty good at work though. Yeah, it's pretty good to be at a track that you're pretty good at. It helps you get a win and get a lot of points. And hopefully it helps you get into the final four for the season. Kyle Bush has not really started the season off too well, but he's looking to get a better finish this time. Qualified on pole for this race. And he looks pretty strong for today's race. Yeah, man, he hasn't won this race too long ago. He won the race in the fall of 2017. And that got him into the final four. He placed second in the 2017 chase. He lost one position before Truex. And that unfortunately gave him up in championship. Yeah, kind of stinks for him. But at least he's ready to try to see if he can get back for the season and for the Touching Arts Cup Series because he hasn't really started off too well. Let's see if he can get the win this time. Although he starts outside the top five, he's still a strong guy for this race. William Byron. Yeah, he starts six, just outside the top five, and he led the most laps and is your points leader for the season so far. Let's see if he can keep it up and have another great finish for this race. Because if he keeps it up like that, he'll have a chance for a championship. And a rookie like that, man, that could be good for him. Like this. Eric Jones will be hopping in the 78 for Martin Kirk Jr. After Martin Kirk Jr. had an injury, and Eric Jones does not have a ride for season one. And since Trux is injured, and he was teammates last year with Jones, Jones is going to go ahead and hop in the 78 and take a race and two more after this with the 78 instead of Trucks being in the 78 since Trucks is injured. That's just a story that you guys need to hear just in case if you guys forgot. Bowman and Kyle Larson. Row 7 is Bubba Wallace Jr. and Kevin Harvin. Row 8, Jamie McMurray and Greg Kozowski. Row 9, Turbane and Eric Omarola. Row 10, Rocky Spinhouse Jr. and Chase Elliott. Row 11, Kurt Busch and Greg Balding. And rounding it out is Ty Dillon and Paul Menard. Green flag is in the air. We are underway here in Martinsville. Kyle Bush and Denny are going to lead us down the backstretch as they come here. As Hamlet gets loose to Kyle Bush. As now he got to spin on the track. 
big spin happens here as it didn't look like many cards got damaged except for Joey Logano there. A couple spun there though, as you guys saw there. As Joey Logano will be out of this race to see now. Here's a look at the drivers on pit road. Those drivers are Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Busch, Clint Boyer, William Byron, Daniel Suarez, and Ryan Newman. They went up pit road because they got a tiny bit of damage. And they want to get some fresh tires too. Because they got all loose. We're ready to restart now with Austin Dillon in the lead, and we're restarting on lap four. The green flag is back in the air with Austin Dillon and Eric Jones side by side as they come down the back stretch with Austin Dillon in the lead. As now Jones is going to lead his first lap. Jones is going to lead. Turbine is in the wall. Turbine is in the wall, and the yellow flag is back out. We're ready to restart on lap number seven with Austin Dillon in the lead. The green flag is in the air with Austin Dillon and Eric Jones. Leading us here as they all come down the track here as we have three to go now. Austin Dillon still trying to lead here as now we got to fly through turn three. And now turn one and now we got crashed. The leaders have wrecked. The leaders have wrecked. As the caution is back out again on lap number eight. And this will bring out overtime now. All right. We're just about ready to restart in overtime now. Kyle Larson leads as he's ready to see if he can get a second one of the season before... Bubba Wallace Jr. tried to take this win away. Well, Jake Murray and Kevin Harvick tried to get their first win. Anything can happen here in overtime, especially on a track like this. Who's going to get the win? There's only going to be a mile left in this race. Let's see who will get the win. The green flag waves again with the leader being Kyle Larson followed by Bubba Walsh Jr. Harvick's going to try to come around here. Can't quite do it here as we have a half a here. Oh, we got crash and Jamie McMurray won the race. Wow. What an epic win for Jamie McMurray here. So there's a three-car pile up there. Brad Kozlowski, Kurt Busch, and Ricky Sanos Jr. wreck as the caution came out, but they let him race to the line, though, because the leaders were in front of the wreck. So they raced it out there, as you guys saw, but... The caution came out, though, but didn't matter, though, because the results would stay the same, basically. So, yeah. Jamie McMurray celebrates his victory here as he wins. So, there's the race, guys. We hope you all enjoyed this race. The next race will be next Wednesday, because I'm going to be at a friend's house for the weekend. And then, I'll be working on race number five. I forget what the race is, but search it up on the schedule. If you guys want to know. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Also, comment down below. What track do you guys want to see soon for season 2? And what else do you guys want to see on the channel? Besides downhill and other stuff that has been on the channel. What else do you guys want to see? Leave a comment down below. And yeah, peace out. So here's a look at the point standings right now. The 42 with 95 points. He's your points leader. Which is good for Kyle Larson because he had a pretty good ride for today. Just came a little short, but he did manage to lead a couple of laps and that helped him. He was just one lap short from Austin Dillon, the tying with them, and each getting five points for leading the most laps. Because if there's a tie, then they both get five points. The 24 right now has 89 points, so that's good for William Byron. The 9 with 80, he's looking pretty good, which is Chase Elliott. Then we have the 4 and 78, tied with 68. That is the last spot to get in. A tie will break at the end of race 7. I'll be looking back to decide who will get the win by looking at the replays of each finish from each of the races that we do. Okay? We're now going down as now we're down to the drivers from 5th, then a little bit downward right now. Uh, so far, the 48 has 63. He's close to the cut line, but he's going to try to get there, which is Jimmy Johnson, the 10, with 62, which is Eric Amarola. We got the 3 of Austin Dillon with 61. Same with the 11 of Denny Hamlin. Good thing that's not Chase Elliott in the 3. Then we got the 1 with 60, the 18 with 56, the 6 with 53, the 41 with 51, and then the 43 with Jimmy Johnson's number. Then we move down toward the end here as as this is the end actually at the 23. He's in last place just so you know. The 31 with 46, the 2 with 43, same with the 22. So Penske cars are right now both at 43. Then we got the 17. We got a three-way tie for 36 points. The 14, 21, and 88. 
along with the 19 with 33, the 13 with 29, and then the 23 with 26. And yeah, that's your point standing. The next race is coming up soon, so you don't need to wait as long as this race took. But it's going to be coming out shortly here this week. It might come out on Wednesday, which is going to be tomorrow. But it might come out on Thursday. We'll just have to see.